Millions of dollars worth of cocaine dropped from the sky early today onto a driveway in Knoxville, Tennessee. Okay, that was a real news story from back in 1985. Four months after that report, a bear was found dead from ingesting copious amounts of cocaine. But what might have happened if that bear had lived? What if it went on to hunt for even more drugs? Well, that is the premise for this new comedy thriller. It's actually called Cocaine Bear. We're going to chat with its director, Elizabeth Banks, and its star, Carrie Russell, in just a moment. But first, I'll look at the film. Mr. McKendry, have you ever done cocaine? What? Why do you ask? Just wondering if it has long-term side effects. For the bear, of course. If it just did a little bit. Well, it could create a habit for the bear. Or if they never want to do it again. Oh, then it, it should be fine. But Mama Bear and Papa Bear will be very angry. Okay, here we go. Elizabeth and Carrie. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. We're just catching up. Yeah. You are. Okay. <laughs> you directed this. Yes. And did you, the, the, let's start with the name, because that's really what's catching everybody. Everyone thinks oh, I know. It's, it's not a true you know, title based on something else, but you fought for this title. I think nobody can believe that they allowed us to keep yeah. the title, right? So the movie is, it's very audacious. It's yeah. bold. I read the script. It said Cocaine Baron, and I said, I, I really want to do this, but I, someone's got to promise me we're not going to have to change the title. <laughs> and we all held hands, and we did it, and now we get to talk about Cocaine Bear on the Today Show. <laughs> that I mean, is it's a miracle. It's a miracle. Well, I love that in other countries they named it different things. Oh, did they? Yes, in, my in, favorite. In Spain, it's called Oso... Vicioso? Is that right? Vicioso. Like, Vicioso. The vicious bear. Yeah. Oh, okay. Vicioso. Okay. In France, it's called straight up crazy bear. That's right. Okay. <laughs> in Portugal, bear. it's no, called or no. uso do po branco, which is what? The white powder bear. The white powder bear. That's what it's called. Yeah. There's also one that's like. Um, Nothing's as also, good as cocaine bear. <laughs> like, oh, so intoxicado. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, so, okay. Good, good. So, Carrie, yes. this script comes to you. Yeah. What, uh -huh. When did you, why did you say yes? What was it about the concept? Well, you and I were talking about something yeah. completely different. Yeah. yeah, that's right. And we were in, it was like the height of COVID, mm -hmm. and, yeah. and the world was so intense. and. <laughs> you were like, you want to read this crazy thing? And I was like, yeah. Um, and it was just like a true, just complete departure from our stresses and everything that was going on in the world. And it was just crazy enough that I was like, yes, I'm, let's go do this. Yeah, that's exactly right. Was it weird acting opposite a crazed bear? Like... No. <laughs> no, it was totally... No. What, what, what was better is it's really, like, all the close-ups are, like, Liz shouting from the back, and and, and, he's, and he's biting his leg off, and there's blood everywhere, and now you're That's climbing up the tree, and, and then the bear's attacking him, and he's eating him. <laughs> that was actually... <laughs> that is really... That is, what yeah. was it like directing this thing? Because this is, like, nothing you've ever done, obviously. Uh, you know, honestly, it, it, what Carrie said is right. I read the script, too. It was, like, the height of the pandemic. Yeah. There was chaos reigning everywhere, yeah. and I really felt like there's nothing more chaotic than a bear <laughs> on cocaine running through the woods so directing this was almost a way to like tame the the, the messiness yeah. of the world oh, that's you know yeah it was actually kind of cathartic yeah. as an artist to just go and be together and work on something and and know that at the end of the day we're just going to entertain people it's just for just fun. fun just yeah. for fun yeah, and you like the that. world was too dark and, yeah. and stormy. We needed just something bright and fun. Yep. Um, Jesse Tyler Ferguson is in this. <laughs> Y'all had some crazy moments and scenes. Best. She, you, what, she best. cannot stop laughing. You couldn't. Best. Present. I was crying. I was wearing <laughs> this unfortunately thin. Um, pink yeah. suit yeah. and I was always in danger of um, like peeing my pants and it showing. It was, I was like, was please don't let this fear. happen. Yeah. That was one of my fears. Yeah, my main fear actually. There, there, was, <laughs> there was so much fun in this and it also is a film that stars Ray Liotta, yes. who we lost. Um, Describe what it was like working with him and what just your impressions were. You know, he came so joyfully to set every day. He never said no to a single thing I asked him to do. I said, listen, I think I want you to wear this, like, crazy wig. He was like, okay, Banks, cool. you know. Yeah. He came, I want you to do these stunts. Okay, I want you to wear a pink shirt. Sure. He read the script and asked for more jokes. You know, I think he, he was so charming. Yeah. He has such a mischievous little twinkle mm -hmm. in his eye, right? Mm -hmm. And that's what, I, that's what this character required. It's what he brought to set. You, my favorite memory of him, honestly, yeah. is we shot the, the film. We, we all lived in a little town called Dalkey, mm -hmm. uh, south of Dublin. Uh, we shot the movie in Ireland. 
and he came. I happened to spy him. I was in a shop, and he and his fiance JC were walking down the street arm in arm with a little doggy bag, laughing. They clearly <laughs> were coming from dinner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's how I think about him, arm in arm with a woman he loved, totally. having the time of his life. That is so sweet. Mm -hmm. So if people were watching this segment going, should I go see that? Why should they go see this movie? Why shouldn't they? Why go should yeah, it? I mean, the name alone. You're going to want to know. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to want to, some stuff goes down yeah. in this movie, and you're going to want to know. You're, gonna, you're not going to be the one that, want, one that can't talk about it Monday morning. And it's just go with your friends and laugh and, and laugh. scream. Well, and it's a total fun ride. Well, first of all, I love your friendship. That's the other thing. You can tell, you know, you can always tell when you're interviewing, like, people who are really friends. So, anyway, thanks, you guys, for coming. We really appreciate it. And bye. Thanks for having us. By the way, they're coming back with more. More members of the cast yeah. coming up on the third hour. And you can watch Cocaine Bear from our sister company, Universal Pictures. It's in theaters everywhere. It starts Friday, February 24th. Thanks again, guys. We appreciate Thank you. it. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.